Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a new video, another 10 list that I have done. And this time I want to talk about storage solutions. These are some of the storage solutions that I've used in my art room. And I thought I would share some with you because I thought they were really helpful besides the baskets and, and containers and things like that that are, as you can see behind me, I have like uh, cupboards of things and inside there's baskets and containers that list things but that have things in them but that's just a simple solution and that's not one that i want to talk about i want to talk about some of them that are a little bit more uh, handy and that are not as obvious so for my first one i want to talk about um arranging products according to this is an important thing it's more like a tip arranging things according to uh, manufacture and according to color so that's something that i do in my baskets and in my tubs so what i do is like for example if i have flowers i'll arrange them by manufacturer first and then i'll arrange them by colors same with papers i put them in plastic bags and i arrange them by collections and then by manufacturer same with many different embellishments I'll go by manufacturer or I'll, de I'll categorizing depending on the embellishment that I have. So that's a really a first tip that I have for storage solutions. And you can put them in any type of basket or container and that's great doing it that way. For my second thing, I have um, uh, something I've used in the past and now I have them hanging inside my uh, closet door if you see over there in my closet door I have uh, spice racks and these spice racks you can put any type of container on it and I will show you a little small video I did right now as you can see how I created uh, how I'm using these spice racks to to put my spray bottles to put my containers for my classes and things like that so this is a great place to place to store things The next one is a really cool thing that my husband built for me and it's, it's inside one of my cabinets. I use a lot, a lot of stencils and I find that they get stuck to each other or I find that they get like um, the little pieces kind of go intertwine with each other and then they get stuck and I don't like that, especially if you're lying them flat or if you have them in a container. And because I have so many of them over the years, I've accumulated so many of them, he built something really cool in one of my cabinets. These are cabinets from Ikea, and I will post later that below which ones I, I use. And what I like about that is that uh, the way he did it, he created so I could hang my stencils and I could quickly look through them without having to like, you know, lift everything up. And here's a little video that I did on my phone so you can see what I mean. Another cool thing, and this is something that was hand built for me, and it wasn't actually for me, but um, I bought this uh, from a store in Ecuador, and my friend Isela had somebody that she had it built out of wood, and it's amazing to put all my spray bottles, the ones that I use most often, and it fits perfectly in one of those cabinets that you see below, behind, and I will show you, I took a little small video so I can show you how this, uh, how this spice, it looks like a spice rack, but it's great for bottles, especially the the regular bottles, they fit, the spray bottles fit, fit perfectly inside of them and it's two tiers, so it's perfect. So here's the video.
So for papers, I find that I find it easier to categorize them by manufacturer and then by collection. And what I do is I put each collection in one of those big, large Ziploc bags like this. So these are the large Ziploc and I can get them in a local store here, but I mean, and they sell them everywhere. They're large so they can fit a 12 by 12 size. They're a little bit bigger, I think like a 13 inch. And once I categorize them in this, I mean, there's different places where I have, of course, you can have the regular uh, sl uh, slide in kind of containers or those really big plastic containers. But I found this really cool file folder box that fit these papers perfectly uh, the long way. And I just used three of these and they fit perfectly in my cabinet behind me. And you, I'll show you a video, a small video on how, and I categorize them using these bags. So that's a perfect way of doing that. Uh, so I know exactly I can take out the whole bag on its own and use it for a project and then put it back that way. So if you use gelatos or any type of coloring pencils and you don't have the original box that it came with, a really great storage solution that I found is using a, a box lid and just displaying that way. So for example, I have them all list, like displayed like this. So then it's for easy access. They fit perfectly in my in my in my cabinet in the behind and I can even stack them. So you could just stack the different boxes and um, it works perfectly and these are the boxes from the same paper uh, holders that you saw before so that's amazing to see because um, I could I didn't need the top of the boxes I only needed uh, the bottom parts for the papers so this was perfect to display this you could display pencils here and it's for easy access especially if you don't have things like gelatos like their containers um, if they come in in these like disposable containers I just throw out the container and I can just keep them this way which is a great solution the next storage solution is something that a lot of people seem to have but I thought it was a great thing to so, to show for people that might not have this and want something that is really easy to use and it's this cart on wheels that you get from it's a kitchen cart from Ikea and it there's comes in different colors the one I have is a turquoise one and you can see how um, it fits all my different mediums and paint brushes and I'll just turn the camera around so you can see it's like and, and the good thing about it it sits right beside me here and you can see it right there you see and then as, as I go down and then it's great because you can put all your mediums in there and uh, and they work per it works perfectly for that and holds them all and they're always easy access whenever I need them so I really like that because it's right beside me with everything beside me storage tip is more for crafting and for die cuts and I'll just show you one example you can buy not all die cuts come with these uh, magnets and magnetic sheets inside so you can go and buy CD sleeves and also some magnetic sheets I got these at the dollar store and what you can do is for those dies that have really small um, dies in them and you don't want to lose them you just basically um you can cut the magnetic sheet and you could use it to basically store all the little dies i mean this big one yeah it's not gonna get lost but these little ones you know they'll just go everywhere so it's a good you can cut a um so they for example the Sizzix ones already come with a cd case like this so all you have to do is just cut a magnet inside and this is not my storage solution this is not i did not come up with this but i'm just sharing it here because i thought it was a genius idea and um, i can remember who came up with it but it doesn't really matter the important thing is that um people uh people who do die cutting use this a lot so that's really good and um 
it's just a really good way of storing things and it's just a piece of magnet that you can just cut to size uh, and just go straight in which is perfect so I might have I had to cut it a little bit bigger in this one but because I had a little bit more space but you could just buy your own CD cases and the magnet sheets and just go ahead and do this Another great storage idea that I found is this, this clamp. And I found this in the kitchen section at the dollar store. And this side can actually get attached to any table, you preferably a thinner table. And then it has like a hole here. So I can just place my heat tool right there and it attaches to the table and then it sits right beside me. So whenever I need it, I have easy access and I can just go ahead and grab it. Okay, so a storage idea for the embossing powders, and this is again not my idea, but I just saw it and somebody told me about it and I thought it was a great idea. I mean, I hold my embossing powders in a basket. I mean, it's just easy, like all the containers, but the ones that I use the most, are the ones that I basically have a lot of, I tend to uh, put them in uh, containers, in these box containers. And for example, uh, this one, this is a uh, Ranger Princess Gold. So I just have it easy. I have it a container here and there's a little spoon inside. So you can just, let's say you have a piece of um, something that you want to emboss. You just take it and you just uh, basically sprinkle it on top and then the excess just goes straight in there. So that's a really great way. And I actually just realized that I have one more, a little bit more of this one. So I'm going to put it in here as well. So this is a good way of keeping it safe. Um, I know that the person that did this, that I'm not sure who it is, but they actually like got this latch that can attach itself to this lid and then the spoon can go here. I mean, you could also tape it, but that would take too long to, um, to like take off every time. So, I mean, I'm just keeping it in here is, is good enough for me. And you can, if you can find those latches, that's perfect. So the ones I use the most, so the, or the ones that I have the most of. So this is like the gold I have a lot. This is a UT. Um, this is the ultra thick embossing powder. And this one is a clear one. So that one has a lot of as well. And I have another Ranger one. And I can probably get more containers for this. So this is a good way. And make sure you write what it is, the label. Um, you can label it with the manufacturer and the name of the actual color so you know which one it is when you're looking for it or um, if you're trying to remember what you did for a certain card or a certain project. Okay, another storage solution idea and if you're like me and you have all these paint brushes lying around and my palette I mean my silicone brush and all these other things that you want to store and you don't want to put them in a bucket because a bucket is like you know they all get mixed up um, a good solution is um, this is something I saw on the internet again is you take one of these like floral like sponges and you put them in one of the buckets. I'll show you the other side because I already kind of poked holes in it. So this is a great solution. This is just um, a bucket that you, I mean, just one of a top piece of Tupperware. And all you do, let me turn it around, is you just basically put the paint brushes in. So this is really easy. So you can go ahead and put paint brush you can also put your this one here so I'm just going to show it this way because it's hard to see and let me just go up a little bit actually oops there's my phone never mind about that um, so there you go so yeah okay so let me continue on so you can put like things like this um, in in there you can even put the tall paint brushes like this one so I thought this was a really neat idea I really liked it so I thought I would share it with you again it's not my idea but it's just something that I thought would be interesting to share let me just bring the other ones here so I try I'm categorizing them by putting short ones in the front medium ones in the middle and the tall ones in the back so I can see and I'm staggering them so I'll show you what I mean I'm staggering them so they're not all um, kind of facing so you see so they're like this so then I can um, 
I can put them easily. I can bring reach for them easily. And this is a great idea to put on your desk. So um, I don't know. I thought this was a great fun idea of a storage solution that you can do. And I will finish up here. And let me see. Is there more? Oh, oh my hands is too close. I'm trying to get this. And the last paintbrush is a thin one here. Oh, I have room for one more. Did I have? Did I miss one? Okay, so there's room for one more. So I'll put this one. And of course, you can fit more than you can fit more than this. And I'll just show you from the side. So that's I think a really great thing, and you can have it sitting on your desk. <laughs> it looks really cool from this angle. Um, it's just another a great idea, a hack or a storage solution, whichever one. It could fit in either video that I make, but. This is fun, another hack that or, or storage solution that I thought would be interesting.